This is Maypole Farm by Cavalier Roy. It's a 100.85 megabytes to download. And it says, Welcome to Maypole Farm. This is a fictional Irish map that offers vast amounts of forestry as well as arable farming with multiple farms spread around the map for those who like to spread out or play multiplayer. Farm yards are fully customizable. So you can demolish all sheds and barns, cut away all hedges, trees and remove all walls, fences and gates. There is 128 fields, all include missions and 7 farms. And then there's a list there I presume of people that were involved in some way in making the map. So let's go and check it out. And here we are, this is where you start off in all three modes. We're down at the shop, like so. Um, this is the map, so as you can see, quite a few fields. And like they say, plenty of forestry areas. Um, the seven farms, I think you, hopefully you can just about see the red and blue of the farms. So obviously I'm in new farmer mode. So we start off with this farm up here, which has got everything active. I'll talk a little bit more in detail about all that as we go. But obviously that is classed as one farm. We've got two, three, four, five, six, and seven, this small one here. Now, the only things that are showing up on most of them are the manure heap extensions for some of the animal pens on there. So none of the animal pens, none of the farmhouses, because some of them have farmhouses, some don't. Um, I think this one up here is the only one that hasn't got any animals on. Um, you can't use any of the sheds, open them, you can't use any of the animal pens, etc. But as soon as you start buying the land, that all appears on your map, like here at our farm. So cow barn, for instance, horse barn etc things will start appearing as you buy the land but it is not as simple as that it doesn't come as one lump so for instance this farm here i think this has got quite a lot of animals on this i think this has got cows sheep chickens pigs and horses but that comes as a lump and then this little section there gives you access to the chickens so you have to buy that this looks like a field but is actually part of the pasture for the cows that are there so you need to buy that you need to build uh, buy a 99 field 99 for I think that was sheep field 100 you need to buy that was horses over here is pigs so you get the idea but that being said a lot of the land, the fields included, is pretty cheap on here. So we'll go through all that in a second. And what I'm going to do is I will skip forward a little bit. I'll add some money in so I will buy all these farms up so you can see it. And it will make more sense what I am saying. So let's start back here. New farmer mode. So like I say, we start off with this farm area. But that is separate. And then... Field 86 is part of one of the cow um, pastures, although it looks like a field. Field 90 is part of the cow pasture, etc. So if you were to come on here in Farm Manager and start from scratch, you don't start off with anything, so you will have to buy all these bits separately if you want them. Um, it is all grass fields that we start off with. There's seven fields, but like I say, four of them have been taken up with animals. So when you purchase your animals, they will appear in those fields, but you can obviously mow them still as grass. But there you go, that's what we start off with, like so. And like I say, we have chickens on the farm, two big cow barns, and they are the auto-feed cow barns. We've got sheep, we've got horses, and that is it. We also do have a farmhouse, like so. The rest of the map. The field prices are pretty good. Um, I think it's one two four was the smallest or cheapest field. That's only just over twelve grand. I 
can't remember which one was the most expensive. 73 is quite big. That's only 112,000. And then we have quite a bit of forestry area. We've got this big chunk up here, which is 435. This one's 408. And you can even go down to tiny little bits like that, which is 3,740. Tiny little bit there. You can't buy any of the areas that all the production points and sell points are on. And you also can't buy this bit here. There's a really nice lake which we will pass later. So yeah, that is roughly the map. The field prices aren't too bad. Um, there is contracts available. If we scroll down, like so, not too bad for paying out. Obviously the fields aren't huge. Don't start off with any production chains. On the stats menu, bottom right, we have 20 collectibles available to us, if you so wish to. There is a BGA, which is here. Now, you can't buy the land for that, so you'll have to buy that as a production chain. And that is 1.5 million, if you want to do that. So it's a little bit pricey, that. But again, I'll cover and go through that again as we go through so we are here at the shop what i will do is i'm going to jump up to our farm because i think that's going to be the best sort of option to be able to go around and make some sense of it and we'll kind of go around like this but what i would do is i'll add some money in i'll probably buy most of these farms off camera and then one of them possibly this one will buy together so you can see what I mean about buying it in little chunks so I think I've covered all of that there is no mods or nothing added in by the map maker which is a little bit not disappointing but surprising because there is some sort of kind of modded sheds and um, buildings on here but there is nothing in here so that would probably been quite nice to have those i would have thought the painting if we go to landscaping nothing we haven't already seen animal mud asphalt dirt forest ground grass gravel that is it so pretty basic for that i'll go through slot counts and everything when we get back up at the main farm but there's some interesting things that we can do on this map um i think i've covered all of that we have indeed so a quickly look at the shop while we're here save me doing it later We've got a workshop trigger just here like so where you can customize and repair this is also your reset point down here so if you reset buy lease anything it's going to appear and then you've got your shop menu which is just over there so i will add in some money i will see you up at our starting farm in new farmer mode and we'll go through everything right we're back we have a bit more money than normal um, we're up at that farm I'll show you on the map so we're now up here outside our farmhouse I have bought all these farms and left this one over here just so like I said you can see how it all works but just out of interest this farm here which if I click on that you can see it's got two sheep pens a horse pen and a pig pen to activate all that i've had to buy five chunks there so the kind of main yard area which brings up all these sort of little storage areas and a silo you have to buy that and then you have to buy the sort of fields that connect up with the animal pens which is going to be their pastures like so so for instance over here to buy this farm area at the minute like i say all we've got is the manure heaps showing if i click on that and buy that and now click off that that then brings up all the fuel tanks these storage tanks are like so um, field 98 is part of the cow pasture i think so if we buy that click off that now we've got the cow symbol all the cow barns have got the uh, robot feeding option field 99 we need to buy that that activates the pigs uh sorry the sheep field 100 we need to buy that 
that activates the horse barn and then lastly over here oh no not lastly forgive me there's one more after this need to buy this area that activates the piggies and then this tiny little chunk there which is only 1980 we need to buy that and that brings up the chickens like so so they're not hugely expensive 24 grand for there 9935 47 for there the actual farm for this farm is 45 grand i think this field here which is quite a big sheep pasture is a little bit more expensive than the others 99000 but they're not too bad so you should be able to afford them and we do start off in new farmer mode with quite a bit farm manager and start from scratch you don't get anything no land no equipment so that is it we will go through slot counts now and then we'll run around and show you a few things that we can do so new farmer mode if we go down to our garage we do start off with quite a bit of equipment the slot count is 1390 so it is up there but it is up there probably because of all the things that are on this map and the equipment you start off with so we have got three small tractors we've got the fent vario 314 got a massey ferguson 5s we've got the burra 6105 we've got only one medium tractor and that's the voucher 8750 got a class wheeled over got the 1986 lizard pickup got the nice big stone picker got a subsoiler interestingly enough we've got a front tank which will hold seed or fertilizer we do not have a seeder but i'm assuming that tank is probably going to be for these for the fertilizing although this breedle you probably use more for your lime so we've got the breedle and the amazonas fertilizer spreaders we do have a grass roller which i think is the first map i've seen that a grass roller included in um, starting equipment so we do have a grass roller obviously we do have all grass fields on here mower set up front and rear we've got a tedder a wind rower a loading wagon we've got the small massey ferguson baler which just does the small 120 centimeter bales and we've also got the bow loader that will go with that baler so you can bow and stack as you go got the Hauer front loader oh i'll skip one a bow spike for that front loader a silage fork for your wheel loader we've got a, a low loader and then we've got a couple of 10 winkle 750 kilogram weights that is it <clears throat> farm manager and start from scratch like i say you don't get anything the slot count on those two modes is 1199 i did split the slot count down or up should i say into two sections in new farmer mode so if you sell off just all that equipment i've showed you in new farmer mode you can get it down to 1199 so basically the same as farm manager and start from scratch if you sell off all this farmyard the buildings etc or as much as you can and what i mean by that is if i show you in build mode before we have a run round i couldn't get to sell these two manure heap extensions i went into normal mode like this and i went across to demolish and i could not get rid of those so there's one there and there's one there for the cows yeah we don't have any pigs on here so both the manure heap extensions stayed there i could not get rid of those i sold everything else off and i managed to get the slot count down to 1105 now obviously if you were to buy all the other farms and sell off all the buildings or as much as you can of them you could get that down even lower i should imagine but i didn't do that so here we are this is our farmhouse it's the oak belleron farmhouse we do have a dog as well like so again you can sell the dog off sleep trigger is on the doorstep for our house we've got a garage on the side here 
with our pickup in that is going to be for your wardrobe if you do collect the collectibles they're going to be game cartridges and appear there um, this is our chicken coop now this has some huge capacities for the animal pens you will see it's all base game animal pens I think this chicken coop is supposed to only hold 360 base game if we come up to there this will hold 600 chickens that is not the highest amount either so your feed will go in there they will appear all out here so it's very cool what they've done instead of them just appearing in the fenced off um, sort of pens and pastures they appear in sort of custom areas um, these floodlights I will come back to in a second we do have in the middle of the hedges if you can just see these tree stumps or wooden poles if you want again I'll come back to that in a second but we will grab the pickup we'll drive around a little bit of the farm and then I'll do most of it on foot so that you can see what is happening um, also jumping in the pickup has reminded me that quite a bit of our equipment in new farmer mode is in dire need of repair so the pickup is at zero percent and it's not worth a lot they've all got hours on them and a lot of them are in need of repair there's a few there with a hundred percent as you can see but i thought i'd point that out as well so we drive up through this way i'll get up towards the top and we'll kind of come back on ourselves and have a wander around so that i'm kind of set up for going out again because we need to go out the top way to go around at a sensible rate got a bit of a shed space here this isn't bunker silos this is one of the cow barns uh, most of you guys will know how all this works it is a robot feeding one like i say your straw etc in there this will hold 700 cows i'm pretty sure the base game one is only meant to hold 80 <laughs> so your milk will be from there we can have gates open and closing like i say the cows will appear all out in this field but you can have it as a grass field as you can see on the field info so uh, moving on from there there's one of the manure heaps this is our farm silo so you tip in there pipe out this is 800,000 litre capacity every well not every farm has got a farm silo but the ones that do have they've got the same silo as this so it's 800,000 just does the base game or standard crops that's where you're going to put all your ingredients in for the auto feed robot and these are the sheds i was talking about which are kind of cool looking but you can't place them down again there's one of the spotlights like so um, in fact we will go that way we've got a fuel tank there which you can fill up it is empty 10,000 litre maximum maximum capacity we've got a liquid fertilizer tank again you can fill up some more of our equipment in these sheds and like a bowel shed there or whatever you want to use it for this is the other cow barn again they will appear out in this field this is a grass field again that has got a decent yield bonus almost a hundred percent um this will hold hold even 850 cows wowzers same sort of thing as the manure heap you can get your manure out from there there's where you're gonna put all your ingredients in we've got a solid fertilizer storage tank which again you can fill up nice big bunker silo there and then that's where you're going to get your slurry from and things like that for this cow barn right let's run back up this way i'm not going to do all the farms on foot i'll just do this farm so we've got tracks leading off here there and everywhere 
more of our equipment up here if we run this way again more of our equipment we've got another decent sized bunker silo there I'll run round this no that's not our farm is it that's a way out <laughs> excuse me up the back here this is where your horses will appear out in this field so we've got a bit of our equipment stored there this is the horse pen or barn this will hold 16 horses so that's only two more than the standard maximum one so that's not too bad we've got a storage tank there this is going to be for seeds or mineral feed which again you'll need to fill up so not too bad and if we run around this way we've got more sheds there with our equipment in and a bit there and then we have our sheep pasture which is just here this will hold 500 sheep so huge animal capacities but they do have some very nice areas to roam around in right i am going to show you how you can get rid of these walls and some of the hedges so i came up to these floodlights and if you look at the field info down the bottom it says wood type spruce 2.5 meters long one ton in mass i was like hmm that's interesting if we buy a chainsaw anyone will do like so we can cut these down like trees bang it leaves that which you can i think cut down again um kind of yeah there you go so you can sell that off so you'd need a stump grinder to get rid of the little bits but that gets rid of all these walls connected to this pen won't get rid of everything because if we go back round to the cow barn around this side uh, where is it uh, well, actually this one here will do that is still there there's another floodlight over in this corner here if I do the same and that will get rid of all of that wall which goes all the way around so that is pretty cool if we go over to where we just were and again if you want to get rid of the sort of fence there that the sheep pen is on you just cut that one down and get rid of that fence line you can sell all of the gates individually like you would in your build mode and then as for the hedges and i like this i mean it would take you quite a while to get rid of quite a few but if you want to just take rid of um, get rid of just a little section you go into here there is one of these poles here See, that only gets rid of that little section. So if you wanted to open up a hedge to make an entrance into somewhere, that's pretty cool. Again, you're going to need a stump grinder for that. So I thought that was quite interesting. Nicely done. Let's jump in the pickup. That is our farm done, I believe. We're going to head on up. I'm going to turn the mini map on so that I don't get lost. There is quite a lot to take in on this map, so apologies if I'm jumping and going here there and everywhere but i run out of time i wanted to do it last night i am going the wrong way see what i mean I need to go around the back here because there is a track out yes yeah, so i wanted to do it last night which is when the map actually came out i run out of time got home from work pretty late i managed to do the mecklenburg map didn't get time to do this because I came on here and I was checking loads of things out testing things because like I said before I like to give you guys as much information as possible without rambling on so as you can see this hedge to our left you can just about see the tops of all these stumps so every single hedge in the game has them so providing you buy the land you can chop a little hole in the fence i think that uh, hedge even i think that's pretty cool that right first of up 
we have got one of the production chains and this is at the oil mill like so and then we're going to head down and towards the first of one of the other farms um, I need to be on this side don't I because we are in Ireland so just set back down there is the tailor shop which is obviously another production chain and then just in here got another oak belleron farmhouse now obviously that is working now because we've bought that land so you can use that to sleep this farmhouse is to do with that farm which is just over the top of that hedge which we're going to now and this is the only farm that doesn't have any animals and the farmyards are a little bit tight here and there so again we've got more of these sheds as you can see we've got storage tanks a fuel tank a farm silo more storage tanks there's even one there in the background the little karma I think all of them have pretty much got these storage tanks on there that's just sheds there it's not a bunker silo so that is that farm there moving on down from there we're going to have another farm this has cows and pigs on what I'll do is when we have a little run round I'll show you on the map where we've kind of been so just in here just to the left we've got the Karma storage tank we've got, forgive the trees, a bunker silo there um, this part of the map, uh, map farm has got sheds on another storage tank for liquid fertilizer and as you can see there's a spotlight there so that get rid of those walls our cow barn is there what I will do though is show you the capacities because they do vary per farm one of these is off the chart 700 cows in this one they will appear over there where we saw that floodlight that's your pig sty they will appear out here so they have got huge areas to roam around in which kind of makes it a little bit more realistic with the huge animal capacities they're not all crammed in in one spot so i like what they've done there there's the farm silo for here another storage tank over there for your solid fertilizer more sheds through here so you're not short of shed space um, this is the pigs, obviously your feed etc, this will hold 600 pigs 600 manure heap extension and more shed space like so let's show you where we were, let's get off that menu so we started off at our farm, we've done sort of a rough run round I came up through this way went across to the oil mill down tailor shop farmhouse for this farm then we checked out that farm down here and we're now at this farm here like so we're going to come down got a cell point there like so and then we'll work our way sort of round like this hopefully making some sense or i will at least make some sense so back out the way we came this is going to be ideal for your multiplayer like it says in the description it is pretty cool there is quite a few trees overhanging which i know some people don't enjoy um, just here on our left is a cell point this is called piglets supermarket i love that piglet supermarket i think some of the cell points etc so there's your cell point just here nice big open area but we can't buy any of the land that the cell points are on yeah I was saying most of the cell points and places are named after those people that you saw in the description I think just as a little nod towards them 
to like here it's a little bit overhanging ah this little farmhouse here there's no sleep trigger there but if we go on the map and click on that this comes with this farmhouse uh, farmyard here so whether that's supposed to be your little farmhouse pretty cool but you could always chuck a sleep trigger down there if you wanted to just thought I'd point that out um, next up on the left is I think that's carpentry I'm trying to read my writing which is terrible sometimes yes so carpentry there which is obviously a production chain forgive the trees everywhere and then across the road over here this was our dairy which again another production chain like so pretty smart and then we need to go to one of the other farms which is just over to our left I don't think we'll quite see it from here yeah just over there Whoa, let's move away from the hedges um, I wonder if we can oh no because we don't own it I'm guessing you might be able to get rid of those in your build mode right let's go down this way and then I think it is no it's not that one how do we get to that farm again see this is the trouble I looked at this last night and planned out all my route and notes and now it is the morning I've forgotten where I need to go I think it's this way through the trees quite a long drive up into this farm so we've got one of the storage tanks there that's the karma one for just seeds and fertilizer uh, mineral feed um, a silo is there round down in here more shed space and storage tanks we've got a couple of pens this has actually got sheep chickens and horses I think we do have a farmhouse on here that is that one there so sleep triggers on the step another storage tank yep chickens here this will hold a thousand chickens a thousand all appearing and running around loose in there what is that up there there's two deer in the middle of the can you see that one's disappeared that's not right um, this is horse barn again 16 horses in there so you've definitely got your work cut out and again it will be the same with all the spotlights and hedges there's a spotlight there to get rid of that wall and talking of wall there's a fuel tank there we have this sheep barn this will hold 700 sheep so very very large capacities right back out of here the way we came in we need to go this way it does have a nice feel to it and all these street lights they work I did fast forward time to look at those spotlights and it looked pretty nice the roads all lit up with the street lights going head on down this way without crashing hopefully we've got what have we got in here a couple of production chains I believe right on top of each other so we've got the grain mill and we've also got the cereal factory which is just there production points and then carrying on down this same road we've got the animal dealer with a couple of sale points as well 
going this way there's your animal dealer just right there we've got a cell point there for kind of your bells or your loose grass hay straw and silage that is raging reapers farmer market this one then around this side we've got moon dogs farmers market which is kind of like a main sell point so to speak so that is that area just show you where we are so we came from that farm we came all the way down supermarket checked out these two production points along there up into this farm down there those production chains are down here now at the animal dealer we'll carry on down into this bottom corner like so and then we kind of have to come back on ourselves and cut down here to get to the sawmill like so so plenty to be getting on with and again apologies if it feels like I'm rushing but obviously on console I'm restricted the amount of time I can record um, so tucked away in here again hard to see some things with the trees because I've just hit a tree this is our spinnery yes that is the spinnery and I'll go back out and down here again I think a farm is next on the right hand side Um, there is the farmhouse which again is Oak Belleron's farmhouse so that's pretty cool and the actual farm entrance is in here fuel tank there we've got shed space silos sheds again everywhere storage that's the animal um, pen the cow barn this will hold 800 cows I think that is it for that way yeah so they will appear out here this is the layout of this farm nice big bunker silo more storage for your fertilizer a couple of animal pens here this will hold 800 sheep we've got another chicken one here that will hold a thousand chickens quite a lot of chickens that is you imagine the eggs you're going to get off of that nice big bunker silo which we're driving through now more sheds over there horses this will hold 16 again there is a pig pen here somewhere where is that gone or is there I am getting confused what am I looking at cow sheep chickens no I'm not I'm looking at the wrong one <laughs> sorry guys yeah so that is it for that farm I'll go out down in this bottom left hand corner this is the grape processing unit down here all on its own I've gone past the entrance but we'll scoop through there there it is like so what is quite cool is these actual poles that you can cut down they do not have any collisions on them so if you wanted to do a little shortcut you could right now back up kind of the way we came in and we need to turn right to access the sawmill and we can cut through the back to one of the other farms I've just got to remember my turning um, I think it's this one here this looks very familiar so down here and then I'm going to go in cab here because we have to go through all these trees here which is quite handy having these here with the sawmill nearby you can just about see the blue icons for the sawmill and we will come out I won't go all around that is the sawmill 
cool. Carry on. And these tracks, most of them are pretty wide as you can see, so you could use some bigger equipment on here if you wanted to. But some of the yards are a bit tight, so just take that into consideration when you're purchasing. But there's some really good size fields on here. They're not that expensive. Awesome looking lake. I haven't tested it, but I would imagine you can fill up your tankers for free. Um, do I need to go out that way? Right, let's quickly show you again. So we came down here, did that. Farm, grapes, up through there. I think we cut through there. Sawmill. Now we're going up this way. I like snow along there. Yeah, so I need to turn left here to access this farm. So kind of going in sort of like the back way to this farm. Lots of shed space. We do have pigs over here. That will hold 1,000 pigs. 1,000. Manure heaps, sheds, lots of sheds. More sheds, there's a silo. Plenty to do and see. I missed an animal pen here. A storage silo there. This is a horse barn, 16 again. I think that is the norm of all the horse pens or barns, 16. Fuel tank there. Scoot around. We've got a sheep barn that will hold 700 sheep. So yeah, sheep, pigs and horses on this one, that is it. So we're pretty much done there. Um, if we go out here, actually, what have I missed here? Oh, this is the, yeah, there's two sheep pens on here, isn't there? This is a thousand sheep in that one. So yeah, two sheep pens on this barn. Oh, it, two sheep bars on this farm. I'm getting confused now. I think this is the right way out again. No, it's not actually. Right, we're going to cut across this field. Otherwise, I'm going to completely miss all what's going on over here. I'll show you the way you can get out of that way, that farm properly, which is what I was meant to go through there. Um, right, I was meant to go along this back edge and up there like so to end up in this area so what I do is I'll get back onto that main road apologies for that I'm getting lost now like I say the good thing is there is no collisions on here so yeah we should have come up over there somewhere through the fields there we go as if nothing happened there is the shop where we started off the tour, so we don't need to go through into there. We will go this way though. Because just here is a fuel station. And then in here is the sugar mill as a production point. And then down in here we do have the biomass heating plant debris crusher to sell your stones and then tucked up in this ramp we've got a sow point and that is Stu's green grain elevator so there we go right back out of here we're getting there guys we are getting there like I said it's quite a lot of take in and squeeze in on a tour we've got the BGA coming up next on the left which I've just missed it is up there 
quickly have a whiz around there like I say that is 1.5 million to buy got a nice big bunker silo all your usual gubbins going on and there's some shed space just there so let's have a look at the map again so we were in this farm and like I say we should have come up through this way and then down into all this area and then the BGA we're going to go around we're going to check out that farm and then check out these two and that should be it I think I've covered it all after that and this is kind of the biggest farm I believe it's certainly got all the animals on here obviously apart from the dog and bees so we've got a bit of shed space already we've got the storage just there I've probably run around this one because it's probably going to be a bit easier so we've got a fuel tank just there sheds 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 this is our cow barn 800 cows there all appear out in there and again you could get rid of all those walls if you want we've got a manure heap there's all your feed etc straight across in front of us we've got the sheep barn that will hold 500 sheep more shed space bunker silo the fertilizer storage tanks liquid and solid Around here, we've got a chicken coop by the look of it. More shed space. So chickens just here, 500 chickens. We've got your silo there, more sheds like so. And then over here is the piggies, I think. Yes, 700 pigs for there. And then this should be the horses. Sixteen horses. So, did I miss something? I think I might have missed the sheep, or have I done the sheep? I don't know what I've done now. So we'll work, make our way back out to where the pickup is. I've gone the wrong way, so I'm going to jump through the chicken coop. Whoa, there's a deer there. At least they're not in the sky. That's good. I think I did do No, I missed that because it's by the pickup. 500 sheep. There we go. Right. That is all the farms. Done and dusted. Two more sale points, which is Maypole and Exports, which is kind of like a main sale point. Then right down the bottom should be the bakery, which is a production chain. Obviously you can use them as sell points as well. There you go, look, very cool looking across the sort of map. So there is this sell point, fresh produce. There is your sell point at the back. Back out. One left to go, guys. I hope most of you have stuck with me. A lot to take in and get through. And it is this one down at the end, which you can just about see. Whoa, where's the turning? That is not the turning, is it? Or is it? It is. <laughs> it's the bakery. And there's the wall awesome that is it I'm gonna turn the engine off so from the farm back out down into Maypole exports down finished off at the bakery that is all that map we have taken in Maypole farm by Cavalier Roy another thing I forgot to show you is all your equipment you start off with in new farmer mode because it's by Cavalier Roy they all have Cavalier on the number plates, which is pretty cool. There you go. 
that is it the whole of maypole farm hope you have all enjoyed the map tour if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty